Aside from the acts of Palestinian violence against Israeli civilians, one of the biggest issues at the heart of the Israel-Palestine debate is the Israeli settlement enterprise. Well, in a landmark decision, the Jerusalem District Court has just ruled in favor of legalizing the Mitzbech Kamin outpost in the West Bank, despite parts of it being reportedly stolen from private Palestinian land. The reasoning is that the land upon which the outpost sits was seized in good faith, meaning that the developers who purchased the land didn't know it was stolen. The ruling sets a precedent that is likely to have far-reaching implications, and here to discuss further is legal advisor to the Israeli movement for governability and democracy, or Meshilut, attorney Simcha Rotman. Thank you so much for coming in again. Hi, good day. Thanks for coming back. All right, so Simcha, first of all, do you agree with the court's ruling? I think it's. I think you, you can't rule anywhere, any way else. I think it's the, the reasonable and the most probable ruling ever made on these issues. And the reason is very clear. This outpost was moved to the current place it's sitting by the order of the government of Israel. And, and it was part of, of a settlement that they, the, the settlers there were told to move there because they were, the previous place where they lived was, condemned, was, was deemed illegal. So the government so, put them there, but isn't, and, and, and the, the, the map there are very, you, everyone who reads this ruling, the maps are not accurate. You don't know where the land starts and where the land uh, begins and, and, and where it ends. You don't know anything there. The land law in Judea and Samaria was not changed since the Ottoman Empire time, and you really don't know well, I mean, we have what's the, the status Accords, of the... We have Oslo II, we have it doesn't area have anything, It doesn't have anything to do with the Oslo Accords. The Oslo Accords do not settle the idea who owns a specific lot of land. And to, to figure out it was it, this ruling for many, many pages shows how complicated it is just to get the simple answer, who owns the land? But didn't, so, but didn't the ruling conclude that yes, part of the land was stolen, but it was sold in good faith? They said, you don't know what was part of the government property and what was private. But did they and acknowledge because, that part of it was private? Yes. And the people who got it from the government in good faith and built their homes on it should get, and it's, and the same, the same but law. But you don't see a problem with that? With, same, with someone saying, oh, well, you bought it, but you didn't know it was stolen. It's still stolen. That's the rule in Israel. That's the rule everywhere else in the world. If you buy a land and you build your house on it, and then you discover that you, um, due to no error from your side, the, there were some mistakes in the way the land measure or whatever, and you built your house on it, you're supposed to pay the owner of the land whatever compensation he needs, but you don't demolish a house or, or, a, or for a whole community because of there, someone did not measure the, the land properly. Well, Every but, maybe, but oh, hold, hold but okay, I'm, I'm gonna hold you this because you know, when you have, let's say, let's say the reverse happened, that in area B, the, it pa the, PA, all the, time. the PA gave the Palestinian Authority it land, all the time. They, what, that they, that yeah. they fake documents and sell, not, and sell pieces not, of land that don't belong to about, them? We're not talking about fake documents. You don't. Well, the, the, the fake ownership, which was then sold to the developers, those the, are forged documents. No, not. we're not talking about forged documents. That's, the, that's something that many people do not understand. Land in Judea and Samaria were last, the, li the, draw, the lines were drawn by the Ottoman Empire. You don't really know where the land starts and where it ends. And because of that, many mistakes are, are, are inevitable. You can't, you can't find anything straight there. And, and because of that, there are mistakes. And because of that, so, you, everyone who acts in good faith, and that's the law. Exactly the same law happens in, in Israel. Exactly the same law happens in the US. If you bought your house on the land that it's not yours and you acted in good faith, you pay the owner and you keep your house. That's the way it goes everywhere in the world, within Israel, and in Judea and Samaria, and shouldn't be any different. The only difference is, and this ruling shows it, that for many, many years, the same government, the same government entity that put the settlers there, basically didn't let them do what every uh, good faith seller, basically it was sold from the government, but the management of Judea and Samaria acted not in good faith. The court said this specifically, and made people who bought their house from the government in good faith suffer for many, many years f with the same government blocking them. And, and that was, was, was the ruling, that was the ruling showed that some people, I don't know what their intention was, but some people in the, in the, in the uh, military, military uh, um, management, mm. of uh, civil management of Judea and Samaria, someone there acted not in good faith, but not when he gave the land. 
when after he gave the land in good faith, he, he put all the trouble he can on, on the way of the people who bought there with good faith. Okay, but you're, again, we're talking about a developer who buys in good faith, but the land was taken uh, not pot potentially not. No, in that's what the court said. Not in. No, it's, it wasn't a bad faith. Okay. That's what the court said. So you can't measure the okay. land. Well, that's so what the about problem. The, what about the 1967 borders? We don't have we don't have measurements there. We don't have. 1967 any, borders have nothing to do with it. Definitions anywhere. 1967 borders have nothing to do with it, and that's what the court ruled today. He said that the same rules that apply within 1967 borders, and outside. The same r rules should apply either if you're Jewish, either if you're an Arab. And, and, and you, shouldn't, you shouldn't treat Jewish settlers as an enemies of the state. Okay, and well, that's what happened for many, many, many years. Not enemies of the state, but still, okay, let's, let's take away Palestinian land, let's, uh, uh, the Palestinian issue from the, from, the, from the table, you know, from the lexicon here of this issue. And let's just, let's move it into Tel Aviv. Let's say somebody, somebody that, signs a document and he says, hey, if I, and then he sells a piece law, of land that he doesn't own. The law in Israel says that if you buy a land that from, in good faith from someone and you acted on the, on the behalf, you read but then the, the people living, so let's say, let's say then you I, don't say demolish you, the house. That's what no, happened with Israel. Israel. But okay, let's say, let's say there's a, let's say there's a the landowner and he's renting out the space. Okay, I, I'm I'm a renter in an apartment, and then somebody and then, somebody forges a document, sends sends a, something off, says I own this land, and he sells it, if, and suddenly I have a new landlord, if, and he uh, can the, kick me that's out. That's the rule in Israel. A land law in Israel. The same rules. It's not. Anything new, if you bought a land in good faith and you checked all the checks that you can do, and you have to, you have to understand, in this case, the, the, the civil administration mm. were, were very act, was acting in, not in good faith, and this, they said, you have to ask the owners. Ask the owners, go, go, bring, them out, bring them here to court. That's what they told the settlers. So the settlers said, okay, bring them into court. So give us their names. Mm. So right. the civil administration said, no, right, we are not well. giving the names. It, it right. was acting in bad faith and to hurt the settlements and Baruch, right, well, and Baruch Hashem, to... with God's help, the settlement was, 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 uh, right. was uh, proved right. to be legal. All right, Simcha thank you for coming in.